Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. Today we are doing my first update for my 2021 project pan. If you missed my project pan intro, I will link it up in the eye. I filmed the intro, I believe, on the 4th of January and today is the 14th of February. So it has been between five and six weeks. I am not the best project planner, I did say that in my intro, so I was thinking every sort of six weeks would be a sort of good amount of time for me to actually use things to have some use to show on them by the time I was doing my updates and I didn't really expect the first one to be all that stimulating however there are some pleasant surprises so let's get into it now I'll start with the things that there is very little visual change on first of all my two eyeshadows the first one is from the Morphe Making Bank and it's this shade here so I randomly generated that in my intro. I have been consistently using it and I do really like it. I've actually got it on today but yeah no pan as of yet, not even a dip, just a little bit of kick up. I don't think I really appreciated how much shadow you get in this. I think I worked that out to say it was 1.4 grams per shadow which to put it into context the second eyeshadow that I'm panning is from my Modern Renaissance palette and again there's nothing really to look at here yet and it is this shade here, Warm Taupe, again I did it through a random number generation in my intro video. So there's nothing much to see, to see here yet but these shadows are 0.7 grams each so this eyeshadow is literally half the size of this eyeshadow so it'll be interesting to to see how long it takes to pan this and how long it takes to pan this. Obviously, they're slightly different shapes. This is like smaller squarer pans, so they're maybe slightly deeper, whereas although these are bigger rounder pans, they're maybe not quite as deep as these ones. So actually hitting pan in theory could be easier in this shadow. Um, but I've realized I'm not really somebody who kind of digs into their shadows to get that pan. I do just kind of swirl my brush across the top. Um, so yeah. We will see what happens. So, so far, nothing that exciting to report. There's not even real dips going on in either of these at the moment, but I have been using both shades consistently and I do enjoy them both. So I'm quite happy to continue on for a while. The primer that I put in my project is this one, the Abnormal Beauty Company, the Decium range, and it's the Hylamide HE Blur, which is a super mattifying, blurring primer. You can use it as a finisher, you can use it over foundation, but I've been using it as primer essentially. At my intro this weighed 27 grams and at the moment it weighs 22 grams so I have used up 5 grams worth of product. In the last couple of weeks I've not been reaching for this very much because it has been so cold here. We've been in an absolute like icy snowstorm so I've not been using this that consistently. I've been reaching for my more hydrating primers but I'm happy to keep this in the project because I know once the weather gets a little bit warmer and my skin, you know, starts to up its oil production, I'll be more than happy to finish this off. So yeah, keeping it in the project for now and minus five grams, I think, when I've not been using it consistently is a good reduction. So I'm happy with that. Now, the first exciting update as such is this. So this is the Stila Lip Glaze in the, in the shade Starfruit. Now, I'll show you the close-ups of this and it'll look like there's product left, um, but there's actually not. So if you look, I can twist it and twist it and absolutely nothing else comes out. So there is just like what looks like a kind of tiny bit of product still in there that I can't get out. So I am really excited to say that this is actually finished. So one product is being knocked out. It is from the lip gloss category and although it's a Project 10 pan, it's kind of become a Project 10 categories. Um, as you know if you watch the intro, so I have three other lip glosses to do before I can say that that category has been panned. Um, but I'm very pleased that one out of four of them is away and it's away more quickly than I thought it would be. Now the second Stila one that I've got is Kitten, so not really much progress in that. I have been concentrating on the other one. I started with the other two because there was less product in them to start with. So this is the one of the steel lip glazes that has the most product left in it um, and I have used it once or twice I think but nothing significant. The third steel one which I believe is called Marmalade I think I've unfortunately left it in work. I can't find it to put it in this video. 
I have been using it and the only place I've been obviously because we are in lockdown at the moment is home or work so if it's not here I've left it in work unfortunately so I can't give you an update but it's not finished and there's not a huge amount of product in it so I think when I do show you it in the next update it will be finished anyway. And then the last lip gloss and I'm pleased with this one actually is this Estee Lauder one. So again I've had this in work and I had it in my little pen pot so it's been sitting like this and it's let the product kind of move and I think there's actually less product in this than I thought. I thought it was more or less pretty much new when I first put it in the project but it's definitely it's kind of because it's been setting up and it's moved to the bottom you can see how thin it is at the top there's a little bit of space opening up here so I'm really really pleased with that that's been very heartening this will obviously in comparison to these two well to this one and the other still a lip gloss this will obviously be the longest in the project this is one we'll probably be finishing with because I do want to just knock out that second still one that I've left in work then this one and then this will become the sort of priority but even just having used this like maybe a couple of times a week in work has definitely made made a difference so I'm feeling quite cheered by the lip gloss category. Then to continue with lipsticks so I have two lipsticks in this project one of them is this liquid lipstick and there is no visual change I have been consistently using it um, and I do really like it I've got it on today I've actually just I, I feel like this was a colour that I didn't realise how much I liked it until I put it in this project um, and now I'm really really enjoying it so I'm glad I put it in the project. Only one mil of product and I have been using it really quite consistently. I don't know, I feel like I can when I, when I apply it there's less coming out on the doe foot every single time but it's definitely still applying colour so I have no idea if the end is in sight. We're not as far as I'm aware near taking the stopper out or anything like that but really enjoying it and you know happy to keep using it. The other lipstick that I've got is this one so this is my MAC Cindy Lauper lipstick that I have decided it's time to just finish off so that is where we're at and I will show you on my book how much I've brought that down in the markings. The blue line at the top here was where it started and it's come down to the black line so obviously only the first update but I am really quite pleased with it it's definitely come down a reasonable amount and if it was to come down that amount every single month this would definitely be finished within the year so that is what I want I want to be finished this but I, I want to like scrape it out and put it in a tub and properly finish it I don't just want to use it until the bullets kind of no longer usable so I don't know how much longer it'll be in the project but I think we've still got a while to go yet but I am happy with steady progress and then the other product that's on my little sheet here is the lip liner so again I'll show you in the close-up and it's come down a reasonable amount what I've been doing is actually using this all over my lips and then topping it with that Estee Lauder gloss and um, it's really quite pigmented so I kind of line my lips and then just use my fingers to smudge it out and kind of take the pigment sort of bloodily over my lips and then go in with the gloss kind of thing so I'm not colouring in my whole lip with the pencil or anything like that but it's frosted down that little bit and again if it was to come down that little bit every single month it will be finished by the end of the project and that is the aim. Now the second super exciting update, so excited about this one, is my Tarte Party Blush. Although when I showed you it in the introduction you could kind of see where the rings were, like around the side the full pattern is sort of still embossed in um, because I obviously just sweep my brush kind of up and down the middle of it and don't swirl around with this product so there is still lots and lots of product but I do I have hit pan which I never expected to do by my first update I am so so pleased I'm nowhere near repressing it it's a tiny sliver of pan it's not that big a deal but it's so exciting to me it took a picture and sent it to Lauren like I have pan in this uh, I feel like everyone except me has panned this already so yeah I'm sure you're probably sick of seeing it in people's project pans but Oh, I think this is the first, I did a blush in my first ever project pan but it was a cream blush. This is the first ever powder blush that I've ever hit pan on. Um, so I'm feeling really quite accomplished. Even though I know it's a mini and it's not that big a deal, I am feeling accomplished about it. I'm going to keep using it as it is. I'm not going to be repressing it until I've like got quite a lot of pan showing because as I say, all the product around the edges is still got, you can see the pattern being embossed in it. So. There's still plenty of product here, we are nowhere near done 
with the product. It will be in the project for a while yet, but yeah, we have hit pan, which I'm just so excited about. What we have not hit pan on, and will probably not for a while, is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlight. So I have been using this, but to move on quickly because there's nothing that exciting to show you here at the moment. The unofficial project pan item, i.e. the highlight from this Hourglass palette, you might be able to see between the intro and now. I have made quite a lot of progress in this, so I, I'm kind of low-key trying to finish this highlight before I really start concentrating on the benefit one. But that's not an official project pan item, but that's kind of what's going to hold up the benefit progress, I think, to start with. However, the other two official project pan items in this palette are Dim Light, which I have been consistently using. There's nothing much to show at the moment, but you know what, I've been consistently using it. And I found like, obviously I've panned this and the highlight. And what I found with these powders is that they sort of take ages to hit pan, but then once you hit pan, like, I don't know if it's again to do with the way that I swirl my brush around it, is maybe that I hit pan quite evenly so that by the time I actually hit it, there's really not much left to use up. Um, Cause I feel like once I get the pan, it then goes quite quickly, but it takes ages for me to get the pan in the first place. But I've been consistently using it, so that's the main thing. It will get used up at some point in this project. And then the other item is the pink blush, which I have been consistently using, but this is so pigmented that I'd forgotten just how pigmented this is. What I've been doing with this is sort of sticking my brush in this bit of exposed pan and almost trying to like sort of clean up the pan first. Um, so I don't know if there's really that much of a difference You'll be seeing the intro versus now in a cutaway, so you can see if there's any difference or not. To me, it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of difference, but I have been consistently using it, and yeah, that's really that's all I can do. It's consistently use it, and hopefully, the progress will start to show at some point. But anyway, that has been the first update of my 2021 Project 10 Pan. If you're looking for more makeup rehab content for you know, mindful consuming content, content that is not trying to normalise overspending and hoarding and owning too much and not trying to glorify that, then please do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Those metrics really help me to know what's going to actually be popular on my channel in terms of what to do more of going forward. So that would be very much appreciated if you want to see more Project Pan content hit the like button and it lets me know that. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.